Game three between Master Ray and Zeddy. Upper left-hand corner, we have Master Ray starting as... I actually really like this color. I don't know what to call it, though. It's like a pale green. I'll call it pale green for now, but it's almost like white. It's beautiful. Upper right-hand corner, we have Zeddy as the... What is that? Pink? Peach? Peach Zerg? This is going to be on Shakura's Plateau. And I think we are kind of seeing the nature of how these games are going to play out. Both players have strong abilities to execute economic long-term games. I do want to say, as far as things have looked thus far, I think Zeddy might take this game, just because it looks like he's much more comfortable going for early pressure. Oop, cancellation. Ooh, that cost some minerals early, too. Overlord going to the bottom right-hand corner, by the way. For initial scout from Zeddy. Zeddy is opting for an Overlord first. We'll see if it's another gateway build for Master Ray if he's going to opt for Forge first. Much more popular to open gateway these days. But yes, as, if Zeddy can establish economic control, it seems like he just rolls that economic control into kind of relentless, relentless attacks to keep his opponent distracted. Well, and I really like what Zeddy did last game, and I kind of missed it. I feel like I've got a little bit of Zerg bias where I'm like, oh, can Zerg even fight Archons? But what he was doing is he's just continuing to apply that pressure, and while he was applying that pressure, he was establishing additional bases and droning up, never giving Master Ray an opportunity to take down anything he already had established, and also never giving Master Ray an opportunity to go ahead and take expansions of his own. Did see a 12 hatch. The drone scout, is it going to go cross map scout again? Looks like it is going cross map scout. Spawning pool, it looks like we're seeing almost a repeat, although with different map positions, obviously, in a different map of game one. Gateway is silent thus far. There's the first zealot for Master Ray. But yeah, it almost feels like this is going to be very similar to the previous match. However, this time the drone... Move, that was kind of an odd scouting pattern. Moving across the middle, swinging up to the upper left. I think he's going to hold position to go ahead and try to deny any sort of nexus, or at least be in here to annoy a probe just in case, and that's going to force that zealot to hang back. Zeddy needs to micro the drone, though. Loses it. That's actually a big loss, because there there could have been a lot of action with that drone. However, he's been in, able to go ahead and grab that 3 o'clock. He's producing the four zerglings now. With that timing and mastery, yeah. Plopping down that nexus without a lot of harassment. And feeling safe doing so, particularly seeing that third hatchery at that 3 o'clock. Extractor being grabbed. I think with the timing of this, now let's see if I do, I'm doing this correctly. I think with the timing of this, the, the zealot isn't really going to get a lot accomplished. Particularly if the zerglings can go ahead and catch it on the low ground. Zealot's going to go ahead and wander out to that third hatchery, just kind of prod at it. One Zergling on that probe. I'm just kind of checking. Th it looks like he's yeah, going to pocket here and just be annoying. <laughs> kind of provide a little bit of threat. Sometimes what I've seen Zerg players do, especially if they're opting for more of a, a Hydralisk style of build, is they'll actually just ignore this Zealot and wait for a Hydralisk and just poke away with that at that stage of, that, uh, of the game. Zealot now poking away at the hatchery. And taking some free damage, actually. It's gonna get it's not even gonna take any of these Zerglings out. I'm not sure that was worth it. And with that, the Zerglings counterattacking, able to shed some shield off that gateway. And the Zealot's a little bit exposed here. No cannon yet for Master Ray. This is looking like a repeat perhaps a repeat of game one. This is not provoking additional Zerglings to be produced, though. And after this cannon warps in, these Zerglings need to back out. Backing out with just a single cannon shot. But Zeddy in good position early game. At 15 drones, has that third base established. Is going straight to lair, so I believe we're going to see three hatch muta once again. The simulator and cybernetics core warping in. This feels a little bit late for Master Ray overall. We'll see how he does. This is kind of the difficulty of the, the meta these days is because of the potentiality of the 973 and Hydralisks. Oftentimes, uh, players don't respect the Mutalisks sometimes, and they can get caught off guard. 
as far as a follow-up. Cybernetics Core online. Zerglayer is there. Spire is just starting. But it's going to be a while before that Stargate finishes. And I'm almost feeling like the timing of this. There's the another gateway. Oh, is he skipping? This is dangerous. Okay, Master Ray is skipping. This might be game right here. Master Ray is plopping down a gateway. He is skipping Stargate. Never mind. Stargate is that the natural expansion away from the Overlord. But that was still significant delays. If Zeddy... We'll see if Zeddy opts to plop down additional hatcheries and transition into Hydralisk. It looks like he's not opting to do so upon that site, though. I feel like Mastery might have played himself here. Because this Stargate's just halfway finished. The Spire is going to finish around the same time with all of those delays. And he's going to have a bunch of Mutalisks potentially in his face. Which is going to sacrifice map control. He has not planted any cannons down towards his main as of yet. He is getting that second assimilator. So there's the Spire. We're going to see probably an initial five Mutalisks as that first Corsair is being produced. So four and some Scourge. And there's going to be an opportunity for some economic damage. If Zeddy can realize it and capitalize on it, because there's no cannon coverage currently anywhere, and I don't see any indications that Master Ray is poking towards cannon coverage. I think he's relying on the fact that Zeddy was going to, in theory, transition to more of the Hydralisk build. But here come the Mutalisks with the Scourge, and the Corsair was moving south. They're out of It's out of position to provide any sort of defense. That is unfortunate. So, if Zeddy can move in, there are no cannons. No cannons defending the main. Two sets of Scourge, so the Corsair's not even going to be able to help. They're working on that Overlord. That was a big tip-off right there. And now that main of Master Ray is just getting obliterated. All sorts of damage. Actually, let's see if he continues to produce Mutalisks. Yeah, more Mutalisks are moving their way across. Might even be able to take out the Nexus if they concentrate fire here. Depending. Working on the probes momentarily, getting what damage they can. There is a single Dragoon underneath. That Dragoon is not going to be sufficient. And more Mutalisks starting to flood their way across. Some Zealots working. The one way to try to counter this is move those Zealots out. But there is a Sunken Colony and a handful of Zerglings here from Zeddy. Fortunately, that Corsair was able to catch an Overlord. So at least supply capping for a bit. The Scourge moving out to go ahead and box out the rest of those Corsairs. And it looks like Zeddy is going to be able to take out this Nexus. The Zealots wandering across. They want to go ahead and engage the third. But there's already two Sunken Colonies there in place. And a lot of Zerglings preemptively being built. Zeddy is well ahead of him. So it looks like this, is, this might be a fast one. Some more Dragoons being built. But I don't think they're going to be in time to save this Nexus. And honestly, I feel like there's enough Mulisks. Okay, they're, they're going to be at least able to potentially clear, yeah, a handful of these Mulisks out of the main. So Master Ray getting nothing accomplished, losing his main and a bunch of probes, and just taking an immense amount of economic damage. And potentially some free damage on his Zealots as well, as they weren't able to get anywhere on the follow-up. Zeddy controlling this match. Let's see if the Scourge can sneak in and engage here being rallied out. Master Ray in a lot of trouble. Zeddy can go ahead and back off with his attack force. He's free to drone up, take additional bases. Honestly, do whatever he likes. Looks like the drones... Not sure what happened there. Maybe I missed a zealot? Drones pulling off there. Templar Archives warping in for Master Ray under the protection of these four cannons. He is moving out with the zealot dragoons. Thing is, is these Mutalisks are going to be able to see this army moving across. The Zerglings trying to gather up and hunt. Master Ray wants to dive into this 3 o'clock base. Reinforcements are being produced. A third creep colony. And actually, Zeddy out of position with his army's bottom left. And those mules were cleaned up. Looks like now he's regathering, trying to repressure. I don't think Master Ray has enough to clear all of this out. Might be able to get a handful of drone kills. And is forcing a lot of Zerglings, but... 
not getting a lot else. Mastery still in a lot of trouble. Has no army to speak of. Is just now retaking his main. I think the Corsairs got wiped out in the midst of that fight. Did they? Yes. So Mastery basically has nothing to defend himself against an army crashing down from Zeti outside of Natural. And Zeti can do anything here at this stage. This is unfortunate. Some overlords look like they wandered a little bit too far into Master Race territory, so one of them might get taken out, which is going to supply cap Zeti, so small graces here. But while that's happening, Zeti diving into the natural expansion with the army he's got. Archon trying to provide some defense. Probes pulling off the line. Like still one cannon up. Not a lot of troops left. Cannons down. Probes trying to provide some defense. Just three Hydralisks left. And Zeti regrouping. Now, does it's decision time for Zeti. Does he want to just go all in here and try to pummel this down? Or is he going to go ahead and behind this, go ahead and drone up and take additional bases? It looks like it is option one. Zergling's regathering. Level one weapons is there for the Zealots. Three more cannons warping in behind this. And Hydralisks are joining the fray as well. Probes are being pulled to try to provide some defense. But I don't think it's going to be enough. One cannon in that back corner. Zeddy still needs to micro this. Working on that forge to open up that front a little bit further. No more reinforcements moving across the map for Zeddy. So it looks like he's happy with the damage he's done. One Hydralisks getting picked off on that corner there. Master Ray has gone up to five gateways in his main. Still no cannon. Well, sorry, three cannons in the main. Four cannons have gotten back up. The gateway is going to be taken out on this front door. And now, yeah, now Zeddy's droning up. Also peeling out some more Hydralisks after that last round of drones. And getting... Numanized Carapace. I think I'm mispronouncing that still. I think the P is silent, right? Numa? Yeah. Numi Air Spirit Wind, I learned from previous cast. Beautiful Psy Storm getting a lot of Hydralisks, but there's no Psy Storm left for the rest of them. And honestly, Zeddy doesn't need to break here. He can just go ahead and sit back and go for a soft contain. Nine Mutalisks being created to provide some support. I believe the Mutalists are going to dive in, pick off the High Templar, and then the Mutalists are going to sweep in after this to go ahead and go for a killing blow. Double Forge, because it's going to have to be done on ground troops. Level 1 weapons, level 1... Sorry, level 2 weapons, level 1 armor being upgraded. Drop being upgraded. Ventral Sacks, as well as Lurker Aspect. For Zeddy. Zeddy still defiantly sitting on three bases. He does have a drone in the bottom right hand to go ahead and take an additional base should he opt to do so. Zeddy now kind of in containment formation. The Mutalisks grouping across. With this amount of Mutalisks sweeping across that natural expansion, they might be able to just start picking away at the probes. And this mineral line is already very thin. Things are looking grim dark for Master Ray. And the Mutalists, unopposed, yeah, diving into that natural. And the probes flooding out. This has to be depressing. Good dodge out of the Psy Storm. The Psy Storms have to be very, very careful that they don't end up hitting the probe lines. Master Ray actually trying to move the probes back in. Overlord taking some damage, having to back back out. Zeddy having a little bit of trouble controlling everything. Back in the red with that Overlord loss. Two more cannons warping in. But the damage has been done. Master Ray's down to 32 probes. I'm not sure that makes that big a difference considering, again, probe saturation overall. But these Mulas continuing to deny any mining out of this base. Beautiful Psy Storm catching some hesitant Mutalisks. They're now switching back to the main. Looks like they're happy to sacrifice their lives. Take out a cannon and do some additional damage here. I think this is also informative. Looks like just six left. It's also informative for a potential follow-up drop. Now backing off. A huge amount of lurkers. How many is this? 
So 10 Lurker is being morphed outside the natural. Overlord's moving up to go ahead and do a drop. And as soon as they plant over this gateway line, that should be game. And if that weren't enough, even if that fails, this bottom right hand base is now up for Zeti. Master Eight in a spot of trouble here. There is a Zealot nearby, potentially, that could watch this. But here's the thing. There just has to be some beautiful blank. There is enough Psystorm Storm to maybe nullify this attack. Potentially. So, it's going to come down to, do the High Templar get picked off? And what is the Lurker spread? Zeddy grouping up the Overlords to the north. Going to drop across the main. The high te Let's wait for the High Templar reaction. That's really going to be the critical component here. Overlord's dropping over. Mutalus sweeping in. If the Mutalus can catch those High Templar on the reinforcement, they need to get on top of these High Templar. That's going to be critical, not the Dragoons. Psystorm catching that grouping. Psystorm also blanketing, yeah, a grouped up amount of Lurkers. So they're quickly being taken out. But the probe line was decimated. Despite everything, that probe line just got annihilated. Master Ray down to 16 probes. So regardless of the fact that this drop was cleaned up, Zeddy got the damage he wanted done, and he's following with, up with all sorts of units at 117 supply, camping a lot of the units to the north. The lurkers are still here. Was that all of the size storm? That was all the size storm. Some size storm is here on the front. Some lurkers continuing to get blanketed right there. But Zeddy continuing to apply that pressure. Finally, an observer out. That with the dragoons, going to be able to clean up and reopen the main. But here's the thing: Master Ray, off 15 probes, he's not going to be able to keep any of this supply running. He does have a little bit of a bank. I like what Zeddy's doing right now. He's just making sure that Master Ray didn't sneak an expansion someplace. And he can just follow this up again with another contain. And as long as he repels what looks like might be this attack that Master Ray's moving out with, he should win this match. Oof. Keep in mind, so despite the supply counts, Master Ray does have a superior ground army currently. A lot of it is in High Templar. Zeddy needs to turn around, macro up to repel this attack. A lot of units here at his natural. Bottom right hand base is somewhat exposed. Thing is, his Master Ray's got to just do everything. And while that was happening, Zeddy's like, okay, you're going to move out with your attack force. I'm just going to plop lurkers back in your main. So it is do or die now for Master Ray. Dragoon's leading against the Zerglings, which is not really what he was hoping for. Big exposed High Templar force getting hit by Zerglings and Lurkers on that back corner. So is able to clean up some defenses, but loses a significant amount of his last attack army in the follow-up. Morphing an Archon, starting to press up towards that third. This is a really good SimCity and a huge army migrating to the middle of the map for Zeddy to sweep in and pincer it in at the 3 o'clock. Hydralis and Zerglings there. Catching an Archon before it was even able to attack, it looks like. Like, spawned and then immediately died. And that is going to be GG from Master Ray. Zeddy goes up two games to one. In the BSL 12 semifinal. We will move on to game four.